All right, guys, we're going to be uh, talking about the movie The Strangers. It's like a review, reaction, whatever. Y'all see it. I'm a fan of horror films, obviously, slasher films. But honestly, the people in this movie, bro, are dumb as hell. I don't know what it is about horror movies, but the main characters or the people in there that are getting attacked, like, they don't know what to do, man. They, they don't know how to react. They have zero survival skills, bro zero and you're always in the suburbs everybody quick to go to the suburbs and that's where everybody getting killed at like all these crazy motherfuckers you got a whole family of dudes just popping up on you trying to kill you for no reason but honestly like this movie had me so fed up i'm so mad homie the main character uh the main character's boyfriend the car breaks down whatever get to the get to the airbnb spot there's a motorcycle outside and then uh, he, the girl says, I'm hungry. Dude goes and like, I'm a, I know how to ride a motorcycle. I'm gonna go to town and get us some food. And just leaves this lady there, bruh, already. Dumb move. You're not from around there. You got no phone signal. Like, there's nothing right here in miles. What if a bear, just think about it that way. What if a bear just happens to catch a lady outside throwing away some trash or something? Over. Am I, bro, crazy. And you could just put this chick in the back of the motorcycle, bro. Would have been romantic and all that, but nope. I'll go to town real quick and get you some good. Boom. So that happens. Left his lady alone. Already a bad start. Second, some random comes and knocks out the door. The lights off for whatever reason. Y'all don't check the people or nothing. Y'all just quick to open it. She's damn near knocking the door off. The hinges, like, they're not like, bam, bam, bam. That shit moving. Like, bro, peep that shit. Peep from the window. Go from outside, bro. Scope it out. See what's popping, you know? Around something. You're just going to straight up open the door. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Then you can't see nothing. You don't bring a flashlight out. You don't think nothing. Their, their thought process are so slow. It's crazy to me. This fool manages to scare off one of the killers, right? And the killer leaves a truck running. And his girlfriend was ran off into the woods. This fool has like a broken ankle damn near. With the shotgun hobbling. Hey. Let me not, no, I'm not going to hop into the whip right here and just drive through these woods and see what's up. You know, it's not like you can't hit nobody with that shit. Bro, if they come at you, hit them with that. Nope. I'm going to hobble through these woods with my shotgun. Bro, what? Man, this one has asthma already. Bad start. Why would you go into the woods after some killers with a shotgun, a broken ankle, you got asthma, and you drop your inhaler, homie? Come on, dog. Hop in the whip and dip. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, not dip, like, out of there, but if you're gonna go look for your girl, like, in the whip, what the fuck? Anyways, then this who pulls up on one of the killers, he catches him lacking, and this who says, wow, what's happening? Starts asking all these questions about where is this, and why are you guys doing that, bro, who cares? Bam, blast that, keep it pushing, because obviously... They don't know where your girlfriend's at either, bro. They looking for her ass too. So, come on, get after it. And then, these fools get caught, right? They get caught, captured. And this is what I'm talking about. This fool is all in love with this lady, right? Took five years to propose to her and shit like that. About to get killed, talking about marrying me. What? Bro, I'm fucking done. Then this fool gets stabbed and killed. Oh well, whatever. That's another dumb moment in him. It just pissed me off. The thought process was so crazy. Oh, then when they initially find out that there's people in the house, this who runs to a room and they put some right in front of the door to cover the shit. And then they just go and sit by the wall. Bro, there's a window right there. Get the fuck about the window and get out of there fast. Like, bro, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? That or like bait them, bait them in. Into the room, bro. Crack them. Boom. Get out of there. Like, something. These foods do not think at all. Zero survival skills. I need to have a scary movie with slasher like this and critical thinkers, man. Maybe that's why they're they're so effective, right? Because these people don't think. But anywho, I don't know if you guys can feel the frustration. The movie itself, I thought was good. There was a lot of little shit that were kind of onto some stuff. But then they were trying to convince themselves that it wasn't. Um... I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys saw the movie, you guys liked it. Um, I was just basing it as a film and what it was. Did I get scared? It got me a couple times, little jumps here and there. Um, the kills weren't anything crazy. Um, but yeah, 
like I said, these guys have zero awareness. You're damn right here hugging, telling yourselves they fucking love each other while there's some killer signaling around the house. And one of the motherfuckers like this close and you have no idea there's somebody standing behind there. But you can feel a bug right here and fucking look. Like you can feel some people staring at you or somebody's presence right there. Like, what? I'm confused. Anywho, like I said, you guys let me know. That was my little rant slash review about this movie. And yeah, peace out.